The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July 1st, 1975, in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> yeah, your parents accusing me, and in India, the caste Brahmins accusing me. My standing, I do not know where I stand. <laughs> Your parents are accusing me, this rascal, converting our sons to become mendicant without any material enjoyment. <laughs> huh? And there, uh, he is, this rascal is giving um, sacred chair to the Mlechas and Javanas. <laughs> Is that why you keep traveling for all months and they won't catch you? <laughs> <coughs> Narad Muni was accused by Pujapati Dakha that you, you are <coughs> traveling in the dress of a sadhu, but you are the most sinful man. <laughs> you have uh, Turn my sons in the renounced order of life <laughs> to become bigger eh, without any advancement, without any enjoyment. So that acquisition is always there, beginning from Narayana <laughs> down to us. Therefore, Dr. Judah has said. He's dedicated his book to the parents <laughs> and to the devotees. He has tried to pacify the parents. Yes. Another parent is coming to see you today. Oh, to accuse me? Oh. No. <laughs> Her son said she's very favorable. She's the mother of uh, Parikshit. Your mother was very angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? <laughs> when she came to see me, I told uh, Mrs. Bruce, uh, can you give me some money? <laughs> I've given you two sons. <laughs> she was very angry. <laughs> Still you want money? <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> you ask them to bow down, sir? <laughs> no, I asked him to yes. bow down to your mother. At initiation? After initiation. Did, we, did she like I gave her proper respect. Mother, after all, she is. She is fortunate mother. She has produced such nice sons. <clears throat> I offer her respect. Yeah. Any uh, of your mother and father, they are all very fortunate. And you are doing, giving the best service to your family. Or Nitai's mother came. She looked very nice lady here. <coughs> and she, I think you are the first child. Yes. Never she looks young, not very old. Within forty? Over forty, yes. Over forty. Within fifty. Ah. But she looks younger. <coughs> and your grandmother? She's eighty. Oh. This thing is young. Dukha accused Narad that my sons are not out of the three kinds of debts. <clears throat> One debt is uh, debtor to the um, saintly sages. Just like we are reading Srimad Bhagavatam, we are debtors, indebted to Basil. He has given such literature. And we are taking advantage of it. <coughs> As such, <coughs> especially the Brahmanas, they have got debted, indebtedness 
to big sages and central person, they receive knowledge from them. And they are indebted to the demigods. Therefore they have to perform jabgans. And they are indebted to their father. And the father has brought them to this world. <coughs> In this way, especially a Brahmana is indebted to demigods, the past sages and the father. So the indebtedness to the sages is uh, performed by becoming brahmacharya. And to the demigods by offering <coughs> sacrifices. And to the father by begetting children to continue the project. So Narayana was accused that if you keep them indebted to these and principles, how they can be liberated? Simply by dressing like you? <laughs> a mendicant accusing. But perhaps he did not know <coughs> there is another person in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Devursi Bhuta Pinang Pitrina Nayangrini Nachakankara Rajan Sarvat Manaji Saranang Saranang Bhatovam Purihit. Anyone who has fully surrendered to Krishna, he is no more better. To anyone. And Krishna says that he surrendered to me, and I shall keep protected from all kinds of. Because if you don't pay your repay your debts, then you become sinful. But Krishna says, I shall protect for all kinds of sin. So if anyone has surrendered to Krishna, he is no more debtor to anyone. <coughs> he is immune from all obligations. His only obligation is to Krishna. Eaten up this this tree, this skin. Sometimes we, when we're reading Bhagavatam mm. about the prajapati, they're such exalted persons. Oh yeah, that are ordinary person. Yet sometimes they behave in such a way that is, you know, that is the approach of their living entity condition. <clears throat> they are also conditioned. They are not liberated. They are not pure devotees. No. They want, want enjoyment, mm. material. Still they are entrusted with very big posts. Yeah. But Lord Brahma, he's a prajapati. Hmm? He's the chief prajapati. Isn't he a pure devotee? Hmm? No. And yet he composed the Brahma Samhita. <coughs> yes, he's devotee, not to the topmost extent. Sometimes we hear that Lord Brahma incarnated as Thakur Haridas. Yeah. Sometimes the devotees say, then how come he's the head of our Sampradaya if he's not a pure devotee? He doesn't declare. He's a devotee, that's all. There are grace of devotee, but on the whole a devotee is very exalted person. Just like gopis, nobody can be compared to the gopis. There are so many grace of devotee, but they are ultimate.
and among the gopis, Radharani. So there is no compulsion, no one. Even Krishna is defeated there. We can Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to understand the devotion of Radha. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, around our society now, there are many devotees who are following different kinds of diets. They read some book and they get some idea. This is not good. And one of the things I see about the, the unique feature of all the diets that they have in common is that the devotees more or less stop taking the prasadam which is offered to the deity. This is not good. It seems to me that one of the important, important aspects of bhakti yoga is to depend upon Krishna for one's maintenance. Yeah. So whatever is offered to the deity, one should accept. Mm-hmm. The prasadam is not suitable? Well, it is standard prasadam. Uh, japatis, rice, dal, mm-hmm. sabji, so, fruits. Why they do not like? Well, they, they are reading these books. And becoming influenced. Yes. yes. This is nonsense. This should be stopped. A lot of devotees, they take these fasting for 20 days, 30 days fasting. Mm. That means they are manufacturing their own way of life. Yeah. That's not good. One of our best devotees, Srila Prabhupada, mm. he recently left our association. And one of the, I know the biggest reason is that he was fasting completely from almost all foods for, for 30 days. The he, fasting is good. But if one can fast, that is good, that is tabasha. Yeah. See, they read these books in addition. Yeah. Fasting is not bad. If one can fast, that is very good. Total fast, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. I remember in that, Los Angeles. That is great austerity. Sure, Prabhupada, you said mm-hmm. that we should not fast more than one day. Yeah, I, I wanted to point out to you that the result... No, artificial. There's like Raghunath Das Goswami. He was fasting, but he was not weak. Yeah. That fasting. And he fast artificial, and he become weak. He cannot work. And that is not required. That is called Mokkot Bhairag. If you fast and at the same time you do not become weak, then that is the and after fasting you cannot do a flat, fall flat. Then what is the use of fasting? Raghunath Das Goswami was fasting, but he was taking thrice bathing and offering obeisances hundred times. His regular activities was not stopped. And he was taking every alternate day a little quantity of butter. That's all. So we cannot imitate his position. Very nice. We have to work. Yes. You said that if, if we fast and we can't do our work and we become weak, mm. and this is not so good. This is not good. Not so not. <laughs> Absolutely bad. So our devotional service comes first. Yes. So if there's... If, if there's... Uh, let us say there is there is uh, grain and rice being offered to the deity, mm. and one finds that if he eats this, mm. his service is impaired. Like so many times I've seen, practically myself, if I overeat grains in the summertime, I drive around doing my service and I'm falling asleep. Man, which food shop suits you? What suits you? Man? Oh, fruits are more, uh, they, they keep me more active. Like take food? 
Fruity is also a part to the beauty. <clears throat> there are the varieties of prasadam. To whichever suits, you can take. Anything artificial is bad. Hmm. In Los Angeles, the, they are charging money for the prashadam, hmm. and we find that it's cheaper to buy buy our own prashadam and offer it ourselves. Hmm? They are charging money in Los Angeles for the hmm. prashadam each meal. Hmm. So we I'm find it is cheaper to prepare your own. Yes. Can you do that? Yes. They will not let a householder take unless they pay money first. Seventy-five cents for noon prasadam and fifty cents for breakfast. So if you can prepare cheaper, you can do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned before that it is better that uh, we not do so much cooking. If everyone is separately cooking, then that is such a uh, time-consuming thing for everyone. Mm. But if you said that uh, if you cook, it is cheaper. Then, mm. if it is cheaper, convenient, then you cook. I said that you save time. Don't go. The cheapest thing is to cook, huh? cook one thing, for, cook for everyone. Yeah. yeah. That is the cheapest and quickest. During Mayapur festival, Sri Lanka, the nicest thing was when we all sat down together and took yeah. prasadam. Yeah. 500 devotees. It was nice spiritual activity. And everyone took now, what, what is was the given. difficulty? <laughs> right. I do not find The tongue, I think. The party rice is innocent food. What is the deal? Nice. Over and above, there is fruit. <clears throat> A lot of devotees are quoting you that they say that uh, there is no need to eat grains. That you said grains were for the animals. I'm not. I'm not. My grandfather is eating. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them that. Rascal, they say, approval says. <coughs> and you believe that. I think the, the people are spoiled. Mm. If they go to India, they see. If they're here they're turning down rice, there the people are dying for lack of rice. What? In India. Uh -huh. And here they're saying, oh, I don't want this and don't want that. I don't want this grain, that grain. But in India, people are dying for want of food. <laughs> they're so spoiled. Krishna's position. If he does not supply grains, then he's accused. And he supplies grains, then he's accused. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is accused. Scientists came to you, Srila Prabhupada, and even said milk was no good. Uh, yeah. yeah. That is what they say in these books on health. These health books, they say that cow milk is no good. What's that? But meat is alright. No, some of them, most of them don't say that. It's very contaminating to read those and to follow. Therefore, follow taking prasadam. Let whatever may happen. That, that's the best thing. I, let us die eating prasadam. <laughs> <laughs> that's and that is devotee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In Denver here, we have many businesses going on for you. And we are out engaging farmies in helping us retrieve Lakshmi. We are going to them for Lakshmi in so many ways. How is it that this engages them, in, or does it engage them in Krishna's service? Do they make any benefit? But most what of them they are doing by doing this? 
They are Giriyat stars doing business. Uh, they are outsiders, Karmis. <laughs> they uh, manufacture uh, jewelry and some uh, shirts mm. for which they get a salary. Yeah. Yes, but the devotees are maintaining the business. And like, like I myself go out and talk to rascals all day long. Demons, maleches. Mm. Am I engaging them in Krishna service by taking What you are doing with the money? Yeah. Pardon? What you are doing with the money? I'm giving it to the temple president. <laughs> so that we can buy a farm for you. No. If you are engaging the money for Krishna, then it is all right. Well, he, he's asking about, uh, is there any benefit to the karmis that he deals with because he uh, engages in business activity with them? Do yes. They, do the karmis get benefit? To some extent, they are helping Krishna consciousness much. <coughs> They also had this program in Pittsburgh. Same thing. They come to the temple and manufacture. Sabarmana kama bhartha. It is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. You can see that everyone can work, but the result of the work should go to Krishna. Blocks me from them, so we can engage them more. In Krishna's service. Mm. Provided you engage them for Krishna's service. Otherwise, the Lakshmi will kill you. That's <laughs> like Sita. Them. Sita is Lakshmi. And Sita was taking my Ravana. The result was the whole family was killed. Because they did not use Sita for Ram service. My question is, Supposing half of those men that are in our movement are householders, mm. would it not be more beneficial that everyone engages in preaching work? Or is that impractical? <coughs> preaching is for the sannyasis, for the brahmacharya. <coughs> and householder, because they are brahmins, they can be engaged in duty worship and also earning money business. Yes. So it's not more practical to earn money by preaching. Now, if preaching, by preaching we can get money. Why should we go to the Kormis? Because you wrote me in a letter that as so far as you're concerned, you think that your books are enough to maintain this society. I think so. Yeah. But if they think that by doing some other business, they'll get more money, then what can I say? This is very good business. Yeah. Yeah. We are teaching at the same time getting money. Yeah. We have found in our experience that uh, some kinds of men uh, do better in doing business. They feel more satisfied in collecting money in that way for Krishna. That's all right, but that money should be used for Krishna. Yeah. Different kinds of men have to be engaged in different ways. Yeah. <coughs> that what Krishna says, Shakarmana. Mm. Anyone, he likes to do something. That is his karma. But by that karma, he can serve Krishna. Sakanmana tama bhatcha saṃsiddhi lavatipa nara. Saṃsiddhi means perfection. Krishna, in our preaching work, we will be able to maintain our temples, but with our business activities we will be able to expand and buy all these farms. We do so many things. If it is favorable to do business. Therefore, we have made program. Fifty percent must come to Krishna, at least. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 many people are involved. And dieting, the best thing is to take prasad. Definitely. It's clear cut.
My only feeling about uh, any war, whosoever men, the thing is they supply more spices, and especially that mustard. And this is not good. This is prime. It should be mild, for sure. Practically no spices, simply little cumin. And this turmeric, turmeric you get from India, whole turmeric. This is this powdered turmeric is very very bad. Unhealthy. They put sawdust in it. Huh? They put sawdust in it. That's all. It's very unhealthy. It is very cheating. Any powder and, and, and spice is not good. As a fatita also. Huh? As a fatita. Everything. Mm. As soon as this is powder, they mix with all other things. things. And it is very easy to cheat you. You are susceptible for being cheated. And they take advantage of cheating. The best thing is to import spices from India, whole, mm. and so. either uh, get it powder or during time of cooking you make them paste. Mm. That is first class. Crushing. You just uh, put the spices water, soaked in water for some time, and then in motor oil pass it. Smash it. That is very nice. And you immediately press, prepare, and put it into the vegetable. It will be tasteful yeah. and it will be beneficial. All spices are beneficial. And much cheaper. Cheaper, of course, there is no question to you what is cheaper. <laughs> For you, everything is damn cheap. Damn cheap. The Radha Damodar party is very good for Shadam program. This halava they make every morning, everyone is fully satisfied. Really? They're saying that. We give, we, every morning we have... Now why do they not follow your principle? No, it's very, and the devotees love it. Every day, Prabhupada, no, we... Every temple, give them example, invite them in your prasadam. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do today. I noticed the devotees would wait for prasadam with great sense. That is, that is nice.